Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining problem from the projections of line. This is really most empty problem for the examination. So look at this problem carefully throughout this video so that you can definitely understand perfectly the concept of the projection of line. Look at the description. A front view of line EB is 50 degree inclined to XY and measures 45 mm long while its top view is 60 degree inclined to XY. If and A is 8 mm above HP and 13 mm in front of PP, draw its projections. Find true length and its inclination with HP and VP also. So first of all write down the given data in the symbolic notation. Here front view is given to you. So you know that this is indicated by EL that is given to you as 45 mm. Next, front view of line EB is 50 degree inclined to XY. That means the EL is making 50 degree to the XY. And you know that this is indicated by alpha. So keep in mind that alpha is actually the apparent angle and that is always the angle with the front view. Next, while its top view is 60 degree inclined to XY. So you know that the inclination of the top view that is always indicated by beta. So here alpha and beta both are the apparent angles. If and A is 8 mm above HP and 13 mm in front of PP through its projections. That means we have to find the plan length and elevation length. Or you can see in another word you have to locate the plan length and elevation length that is called as the projections. Next, find true length. That's why it is over here. TL is equal to question mark. Its inclination with HP and VP, that means theta and phi. So these both are the true inclination of the line AB with HP and VP. This is the theme. Based on that, we are going to solve the problem. Now, first of all, complete the projection of point A. So this is the reference line HP and VP. You can say it is the XY. Now, A is 8 mm above HP and 13 mm in front of VP. That means it is in the first quadrant. Now, if you see the front view, then it is projected on this vertical plane. It is indicated by A dash. If you see the top view, then it is projected on this horizontal plane and so that it is over here A point. Again, you know that always horizontal plane is rotated 90 degree in clockwise direction so that a point will move over here so this is now the projection of the point a once you got this position you can start the projection of line problem with the reference line x y now you can locate the locus of a dash and locus of a with reference to x y so here locus of a dash is 8 mm above x y line here you can see and locus of A that is actually 13 mm below XY. So I can say this is the locus of A 13 mm below XY. Now take one reference vertical line so that you can locate A dash and A on this vertical line. Next, here elevation length is given to you as 45 mm and angle alpha is given to you. So I can start with the angle alpha. Again, you know that alpha is actually the angle of the front view. That means you can say the angle of A dash B dash. So here it is A dash. So I can predict B dash will be over here anywhere. And the angle is given to you as 50 mm. So with the help of the compass, again, you know that elevation length is given to you as 45 mm. So with reference to the scale, I can locate the B dash point over here. Exactly 45 mm here you can see. Next, I can say this is the locus of B dash. Now again, you know that always A dash and A must be on the same vertical line. Similarly, over here, you can say B dash and B must be on the same vertical line. So I can say on this line, B should be anywhere. Next, here the angle beta is also given to you as 60 degree. And you know that beta that is actually the angle of the top view 
and you know that top view of the line AB that is actually denoted by AB. So you can predict over here AB should be over here angle 60 degree. So with the help of this set square you can draw the line which is 60 degree with the XY line. So this is actually the top view. So that you can say on this line B should be there. Once again you know that on this line B should be there so that the intersection is actually the position of the B point. So now you can fix the position of B point so that you can say this is the top view. So this is one of the answer draw the projection of line that means AB. Now you have the top view and front view and your objective is to find the true length. So once again see you have the front view and top view and if you want to find the true length then you have to follow this sequence. That means first you have to draw the arc and then projection so that you will get the true length. So first I am going to draw the arc. Let's say first of all this is actually the locus of B point. Now I can draw the arc from the front view or from the top view. So now I am going to start from this front view, draw the arc. Once again keep in mind when you draw the R it should be always up to the horizontal line. Next you have to draw the projection. Now once again here it is written up to where you have to draw the projection you have to change the name as well as change the view. So if it is B dash then you have to go up to A. If it is A dash then you have to go up to B. So here it is a line of A dash so that you have to go up to B. So draw the projection now up to B. So that you can now say that this is the B1 because of it is actually true length. So now join AB1 that is the true length in the form of plan. Similarly here you can draw the arc first from this top view and then draw the projection so that you will get the true length in the form of elevation. But instead of that you can follow the shortcut method. Now you know that the true length is AB1. So you can set the radius as a true length with the help of the compass. Take A dash as center. Draw the arc on this locus of B dash. So that you can say this is the B1 dash. So this is your true length in the form of elevation. So it is really very simple. And definitely you can follow these same techniques in the examination to save the time. Now you have to fill up this data. So first start from the theta. You know that theta is the true inclination that means the inclination of the true length in the form of elevation with the horizontal line. It means this angle. So with the help of the compass you can measure it that is 30 degree here you can see right down over here 30. Can you imagine my dear friend how I can measure the phi? Yes it is actually the inclination of the true length in the form of plan with the horizontal. So with the help of the set square I can measure it and here you can see it is 48 degree. Next measure the plan length with the help of the scale that is actually AB. So here I can say this is 58 mm. Next measure the true length. So here I can measure this true length AB1 or A dash B1 dash with the help of the scale. So here you can see this is 60, 65, I think 67 mm. So once again this is so simple problem. At last, can you draw the same problem in your sketchbook with the instruments? If you have any question, then write your question in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.